then some nice and important calculation rules for stochastic for random variables. Here are the simple ones. I emphasize now this part, and uh, we're going to see a couple of examples. This part, these rules, are not only for continuous random variables, they hold for general random variables, both random and discrete. So these are very basic rules. And what do I mean by calculation rules? I mean some rules related to the computation or the calculation of means and variances of such, not of a single random variables, but of sort of transformed variables, where we sort of take one variable x and turn it into Another variable, you can see here I turned it into a variable y, which is a simple linear function of x, where small a and b are just uh, constants. Not, these are not uh, random numbers. It's only x which is random. a and b are fixed constants. Then the simple rule, which is basically a rule that exists for integrations also, because the expected value of the mean is actually an integration, at least in the continuous world, or it's a summation in the discrete world. But the same rule applies. Namely, that we can find the mean of a new thing by applying the same linear transformation to the mean of the original thing. Right? So the mean of a linear function of x is the linear function of the mean of x. That's the wording of it. Uh, I think a simple rule that most of us probably would apply without thinking about it in this context. What might be less uh, obvious to us is that the variance rule goes like this. If we're going to know the variance of a new thing, and we just know the variance of x, we're going to do the following. What we add doesn't change the variance. Shifting something doesn't change the variance. But what we multiply with, what we scale with, if you want, changes the variance. And the variance is changed by the square of this number because the variance is actually a square thing. Remember that the variance is actually really the integral of x minus mu squared dx. That would be the variance of x in a continuous context, or a summation. Ah, I forgot an important thing here. Uh, we should add, of course, the density of x here for this to make sense. Sorry. Um, that was the definition of the variance I showed you last time. So again, this is a rule. Basically, it's a rule for a kind of an integration thing, but you, we don't have to think of that. We can just think of it as a variance rule. When you multiply something, the variance is multiplied by the square of this thing. Small, naive example of this. What if we have one? I mean, this could be the change from one uh, temperature scale to another in, in physics, for instance. You have in Celsius, you want to go for Kelvin. And this is a simple linear transformation of one thing into another thing. And if you have some information about mean and variance on one scale, you can transform this information you have to another scale by these simple rules, right? That's basically what this is telling us. It's, it's, these are obvious rules in a way, but now you see them. Uh, that how would we find the mean on the new scale? Well, we do it as the rule just told us to use the mean on the old scale and use the scale transformation on the means, right? So, so that's uh, what we do here. So in this case, mean of x, let me use these, these phrases also. Variance of x is 6. Mean of x is 4. So the numbers are not important here, but there would be a 4 plus 2. That would be, in this case, minus 10. So we change a mean of x that was 4 into a mean of y that was now minus 10 on the new scale. So we can just do transformations on the means. What about the variance? Variance of y. Well, let me emphasize, it's the variance of minus 3x plus 2. Now we should apply the rule, which was on the previous slide. The rule is that the b disappears and the a becomes squared, right? 
That means minus 3 squared times the variance of x, and the plus 2 disappears. That would be the 9 times the variance of x, in this case, 54. It's just an artificial example out of the, out of the blue, so the numbers mean nothing here. Um, that's the basic example. Good. Let's uh, make a cut there, George, and do a more interesting.